Uh-oh. <laughs> We're in the street stock at USA. Why, you might ask? Well, <laughs> the, uh, there are a lot of bad combinations this week. For me, anyway. Stuff that, uh... That are just bad news, it feels like. Uh, we've got... Martinsville in every NASCAR series, pretty much. C, B, and A. You know, doesn't matter if you're in the trucks. Xfinity Cup Series, it's all in Martinsville. And that's just not good. That's Wreckfest, nine times out of ten. And Arca is at Talladega. So you've got no caution super speedway action, which is a lot of wrecks. <laughs> and somehow I think that means that street stocks USA is not going to be the most dangerous thing this week that's where we are ooh we drove it Jack's cooler than when I was in practice it looks like that's interesting so that's a lot. first lap's going to be bad let's try to just get a good run Man, I got used to the way it felt during uh, practice, and now it feels different. So now I'm going to mess up the second lap, too, probably. It's got grip coming out of the corner, though. Maybe I can take advantage of that. If you can get it turned. Did I change the brake bias? I hope I did. I want that brake bias all the way back. Well, we pulled it together there at the end. We got ourselves a 23-0. Uh, That'll be third. Uh, There's not going to be a safe place on the track, I don't think. Um, thought about not qualifying, but you know, short tracks, track position is going to be everything. And I'm not the type of person that likes to, you know, put the bumper on them kind of stuff. That's why I'm not too into short tracks, because if a guy holds the low line in front of me, then I don't know there's, if there's much I can do about it, because... Generally, I think I would rather just stay behind him the rest of the race than bump him out of the way. It's just not how I like to drive, so... I want to get the track position, you know, try to pass people on the exit of corners, get my nose there. I just hope they don't chop me. Um, yeah, you can, the sun's kind of setting out here, so the track's going to be cooler. We had a like, midday practice session. So, gonna get these laps in and make sure I know how the track is feeling. You can really stomp on the gas exiting, where you couldn't really do that before. But uh, it also means that you uh, can get in the corner a little... Can't quite get in the corner as well, so... Kinda getting it, though. Yeah, use the brakes to get it in the right spot. Put the foot down. All right, I think I can be consistent enough. Keep that low line. Kind of enter a little shallow there. I don't want to do that, because as soon as you move up, they're going to get the nose on you. So I'm going to have to be more consistent than that during the race, because street stocks, these guys are looking for a reason to hit your bumper. So this is a very contact-friendly series. Everyone wants to run into everyone at all times. These cars are really durable, so they can take it. It's uh, hopefully we'll get some good racing. It's a free track though, and a free car, so that means there's a lot of participation and a lot of guys that uh, just kind of hop in and wreak havoc. <laughs> it's just generally how it goes. But, it's not Martinsville, so there's that. And you would hope that people would all be pretty familiar with USA, because that's kind of where you, <laughs> that's one of the places you start on this service. It's where I did almost all of my races and then rookie street stocks, because I just so happened to always be racing whenever uh, they were at USA, it felt like, back then. So, I probably turn more laps. Well, 
I was going to say, I've probably turned more laps here than any other track, but I don't know about that. Maybe not. Maybe like Darlington because of the super long NIS, full length NIS race I've done there. Or maybe like Daytona or something's probably got the lead, but it's probably up there, this track. That'd be really interesting to find out, actually, which track I've been on the most. I bet it's probably um, Daytona, though. So, I used to do a whole lot of uh, 87 Legends races at Daytona, too, when that first came out. Just did a whole bunch of races in a row. Unfortunately, we've been knocked back to sixth on the outside row now um, by that much, so that's unfortunate. Let me make sure I got all this how I want. Okay, brake balance all the way back. I lowered my steering ratio one for the turn in, so that's about where I want it. Uh, it scares me a little bit that a uh, bunch of top-ranked guys decided not to qualify. I feel like they know something I don't. Uh, uh, whatever. I can't get too upset if I get wrecked, because that's uh, what you got to expect coming into this. So, assume the worst, and uh, feel better if it actually turns out halfway decent. <laughs> Give extra room. We'll see how it goes. Still noivous, though. Noivous time, because... We're going to be doing some dodging. I'm pretty sure there's uh, cautions in this series, at least, so. But uh, the brakes are super weak on these things, too. That's something to note. I've noticed. Um, and I don't race the street stocks all that often anymore. I never really did. As soon as I could move to truck series, I kind of dipped out. <laughs> but I'll, I'll come in occasionally and do a race. That's a... Uh, I don't race it as much as other stuff, and it's easy to forget how weak the brakes are. So if there's an accident in front of you, you really gotta step on it. And I mean the brake, not the gas. And I'll have to watch out because I have that brake bias all the way back too, so if I do have to slam the brakes, I gotta watch out for it spinning too, so. Uh, number seven up front, he's really good in the street stocks, it seems like usually. He's always got fast times and usually fighting for the lead so watch out for him taking the lead probably be up there um. <laughs> just gonna try to find my way to the bottom as soon as possible probably these cars are kind of strange on starts you kind of want to as far as I remember you want to start like a gear up higher than you think you need to because uh, shifting really slows their momentum down a lot more than uh, the loss of RPMs it feels like because they're so weak I guess I don't know but that seems to generally be a thing you want to be in a higher gear I think second might be okay here though um, I feel like I've been in this position before, and then I found out that I actually wanted to be in. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That seems like a long enough gear. <sighs> I think I want the extra jump off the start to get someone off my rear end, so I think I am going to start in second. And then, <laughs> if I did these more consistently, I would remember better, but... Hmm. Yeah. I think I want the extra space behind me. We'll see if this works out. And at least we'll know for the next restart. About to go green. Stay focused. Watch the leader. Are we getting run into already? I think we already got run into somehow. That's fine. Love to get to the bottom. Yes, I would. That guy almost cut up in front of me. It's 
This guy's getting loose in front of me. I cannot get to the bottom. This is why I don't like short tracks, man. <laughs> Just not my kind of style of racing. Guys running into each other. I'd love to find my spot, a space here. Got guys wrecking. <sighs> kind of dodged it. That's a caution. Do we have cautions? Do we not have cautions? Oh, Lord. Oh, I really want to get to the bottom. Okay, finally. Okay, that guy is trying to spin. Jeez, we went from what? 6th to 10th now? And that's after a guy wrecked. Hello, I'm down here. Too far down here. Had to get extra low because it looked like he was spinning, so that's fun. He's getting a nose on me. Overdriving, man. Alright, we'll give it to him. Just, uh, this isn't the kind of racing I'm good at, man. I don't know what to tell you. So now we're on the outside again. Wow, big fun. tapped because I'm getting no room. Whatever, give him it. We got lots of space behind. Alright. Long race. We'll see if we can make our way forward. Maybe guys will get wrecked out or something. But, uh, man, it wasn't turning as well as it felt it was in uh, qualifying and practice. It's strange. Maybe I wasn't braking soon enough because I was afraid of the dudes behind me. I don't know. But uh, we've managed to not get wrecked, and I guess there's not cautions? Is that what I learned? Or somehow one didn't come out when that guy torpedoed into the inside wall? Is that what I'm to understand? I don't know. Got a pa pass attempt up there. Been clear and I expected. It was kind of messy off that start, but uh, seems like guys are doing a half decent job. That's good. I'm gonna keep on the brakes longer, help it rotate. I'll just go ahead and put this back in further. Oh, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> That's weird. That's different from like the uh, NASCAR cars. We can put it even further back. Loose guy. I don't have the nose on him still, even though he hit the wall. So, I'm not going to dive it in just because he made a mistake. Got a big gap behind us. I don't know if one guy's holding him up or uh, there's just uh, just a gap right there. Got to run on this guy. Got it loose out of the corner, though. Didn't quite have it, but... uh. Starts down too low. Now nah, we got a nose, so now he can't cut down on us. Unless he feels like getting wrecked. There we go, clean pass, good stuff. Alright. See, that's fun. I like that part. <laughs> if you can uh, get it done clean at a short track, it does feel fulfilling. So we'll give it that. It's still better than a super speedway. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm just a mile and a half type of guy. AKA wrong. If you ask anybody, that's not me. <laughs> okay, so I think we can pull away from that guy a little bit. Patient on the throttle. Yeah, somewhat patient. That lap time was 
I think you can use the throttle to help it rotate a little bit if you use it right, kind of a mid to late corner. You get on it pretty quick, it looks like. So try to pick up the pace here a little bit. Doesn't look like my uh, all time best is helping me too much. So I'm going to move that to last lap and just try to consistently improve, maybe. Or just keep it consistent. That works too. Really helps me to be able to see, you know, what's working, what's not. It's not for everyone, but I enjoy having it there. Alright. Drove a bit. We're on their tail, making them nervous. Your lap time was 23.3. Pretend like I'm making a pass, make them overdrive it, maybe. But, uh,. In reality, I think I really want to try to get them on the exit of the corner if possible. Prefer that much more to diving it in. I think that wrecks happen much less often if you try to pass on the exit of the corner. I haven't gotten any uh, free spots in a while. They must be racing pretty clean up there. Using the wall. I'll be taking that. You made a mistake. Let's get a fight it though. We'll give him room. All right, he'll just concede. That's cool. So that's a spot. Top ten. All right. Let's see if we can continue moving forward. Pretty sweaty racing. You gotta hit your marks real close. Not having them behind me is making me feel a little better. I hit my marks. I'm a little wide there though. Not too bad. I think he's in the wall again, so thankfully that'll give us some more breathing room too. Get the car rotating. Thank you, brake bias. Send it all the way down south. Okay. So the next car ahead of us is actually a lap car. So hopefully he'll get out of the way when we get there. Hopefully. But uh, we might not even get there because it looks like... Uh, we're not all that much faster than he is. Let's the corner. The runs are run off a little bit. I had in practice I was yanking the, the wheel so hard and pulling it. <laughs> Almost came undone. Kind of like snapped off my desk just a tiny bit. Don't want to rip the darn thing off my desk. That'd be bad news. Reminds me of that uh, time Dale Earnhardt Jr. was driving, his wheel came off, and he had to turn the wheel with his uh, with his fist on like the straight into the drive, whatever you call it. I'm, I don't know anything about cars. What do you think? I'm some kind of race car driver. Uh, but <laughs> that's what I think of. My wheels detaching. It almost feels like uh, woo. Because it's getting darker, the track is uh, cooling down even more. Feels like the track is changing a bit. Or I'm just hitting, missing my marks now. Tires are wearing in a weird way. I'm trying to uh, counter steer to make up for the looseness on exit. Not quite used to uh, like a 12 to 1 kind of steering ratio. 
I'm almost always on uh, 16 to 1. Whenever I'm on oval. So. Feels super responsive. Make sure I don't overcorrect one of these slides. I can feel myself almost doing it. Hey, if I get a top 10 though, and this race ends up being this clean, yeah, I would love that. This lap car gets out of the way. We should back off so I can get my angle on the corner, but that's fine. He made it pretty easy, so can't complain too much. As long as he doesn't try to pass me again for no reason. That's happened before too. Get lap guys that try to pass you for no reason after you just got past them. Like they do like a crossover and you're like, what are you? Why are you? <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? I feel like uh, definitely gonna have at least one lead lap car spin ahead of us before this one's over. Especially as the laps start to wind down. I can see uh, guys making more aggressive moves, getting guys turned around. We've uh, driven away pretty nicely from the guys behind. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, I can kind of see whenever I uh, happen to have some extra speed on the exit of the corner, I can see that, uh, you know, the green bar is up there. And I know whenever that's the case that I'm, tip I'm going a little faster than I normally do, so I know to uh, counter steer a little more to because it's going to get looser the faster I'm going on exit so that's something that you know it's just a lot of little things that really helps have this delta bar as I hit the apron a little bit but uh, yeah <laughs> delta bar or not still gonna be skilled enough not to hit the darn apron but that's fine it's just a minor mistake saw on the wheel keeping it going in the right direction a lot less of a mess than I was expecting. I've, uh, I've enjoyed this so far. Got a lap car getting out of the way on the low side on a short track. That's not my favorite. Doesn't slow us down too much though, except for distracting me. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> but that's my own fault. So the car ahead of us though. So he's working for us. His payment will be in the mail. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, well, maybe we can catch this guy. Let's see. Let's find out. Gonna keep an eye on that uh, on this distance ahead. See how much of that we can make up. All right. So he's about 1.1 ahead now. We'll check in on that in a little bit. Man, my hands hurt. I'm gripping the wheel so tight. Almost got on the apron there. Got too low. Counter steer. Man, it feels like we're not going anywhere. He uh, got high on exit there, though. That's a lot of time we just gained. A little more of that out of him. And not out of us, which I just did. <laughs> of course. It was my turn to go a little wide, but ours wasn't quite as bad as his was. Gotta be patient on exit. So... We're catching him now. I don't know if he's just lost his rhythm or maybe uh, he's entered really hard and it killed his front tires or something. I don't think tires are too big of a deal in the street stocks, but they uh, they are a thing. They do still exist. They do still roll on the car. So Yeah, he's uh, he's struggling. Let's see if we can uh, take advantage at some point. Right, get the nose. Oh, really? You got a better run off. That's unnecessary. All right, you can take the corner low. You're gonna block for a ninth. It's cool, my dude. 
You're gonna make me do the thing I don't like doing if you're gonna block like that. I'm not gonna be held up by you until the next guy gets to me. That's not happening. Because you're all over the place. Is he gonna fight it? Or is he gonna accept that I caught him from a million miles back? He's gonna hit me. Can't believe I saved that. So you're gonna be that way, huh? Told you, that's what this series is. Guys love to make contact. I don't know if it was on purpose, but he certainly didn't give me any room. And, uh, I'm not being held up with uh, by him for the rest of the race, so. He'd better know what's going. Especially if he's gonna be doing that. I'm gonna race him clean, and he wasn't really having it, so. He didn't hit me that time. Pass, I pass you clean, and you do that to me, man? Dive it in? Yes. Someone's gonna be angry by the end of this one. It's gonna be me or him. Well, this race just went down the gutter. I thought there were no cautions. What an awful day we are now having. So this is only gonna be garbage until the end now. That stinks. Do we get green white checkers in this series? I don't know. I don't know much about it. I don't think we do. If I had to guess. Don't like the way he raced me. If I had that spot too, we'd be starting on the inside. So you really screwed us up. I'll force my way down if I have to. Man. More likely than not though, we're gonna lose like six spots because we're starting on the outside. I just, another thing that kind of stinks about short drag racing to me. There's nothing you can do when you're out there. Choose cone rule. That'd be really cool. The reason that exists now in Cup Series. So you don't get penalized just for having an even number position. No restart, are you kidding me? <sighs> well, this person is going to beat us, I guess. So, <sighs> yep, so it's also over now. Well, that stinks. Mm -mm -mm. Number six will in the race. Which was ended prematurely. wonder what happened. We'll see in the incident report. It's warming, if, <laughs> it's warming his tires for a restart. That's not going to happen. The birds in his brain went to sleep, I guess. Not running on full capacity. One 
I thought Canadians were supposed to be nice. What happened to that? Still, overall, it was a much better race than I thought it was going to be. A lot less wrecking. And, uh, apparently, cautions were a thing, so... Everyone kept it generally pretty clean. I guess there's a lot of room here, so... Coming out here with a 0x is like a win. <laughs> so a 0x top five or top 10. Not too bad, I guess. The other guy hit him for me. I assume he must have hit someone else at some point. Because uh, he's probably that kind of guy. So, Oh well. Not to hear me complain about other people's driving styles. And let's see what happened. Oh god, that was the start? Is that what it looked like? Oh, that's pretty ugly. So, 9 doesn't really go that fast, or not fast enough for the 3, I guess. So, I'm assuming the 3 gave himself a black flag. No, guess not. He just... He lifted off enough, I guess, to not get it. It's being unbelievably aggressive. So, we're just stuck on the outside here. I'm going to watch this for a second, see if there's anything I could do to get to the bottom. But, uh... My goal here was just to give too much room. Since I didn't quite trust, uh guys to hold their line so give about a full car length just wait for my chance well, we can't quite do it yet that 11's down there and if you cut someone off even remotely they'll look uh, at it as a chance to run into you if you give them any slight excuse so you can't uh, you can't really just force yourself in there. That guy about wrecks it, so I go wide anticipating him spinning. Losing more spots. And here I finally get a runoff, and then I have some room. I finally get to bottom after losing about five spots and then gaining one because the guy spun, I believe. So that's how that went down. Uh, and nine was getting into the wall. A nice healthy bit. Smoking kills. The 15. Ten's about to get in the wall, looks like. You know, just a tiny bit. That's nothing to these cars. Made of pure metal and angst. Ten's getting in the wall yet again. Probably getting on the gas too soon. He's trying to get the nose there, but can't quite. I think maybe he just brushed the wall in the uh, entrance while he was moving over. I think that might have been what happened there. But you can see he's trying to get the run out of the corner so he can get the nose in on exit. I think that's the best way to do it instead of trying to dive in on guys. <clears throat> Some more wall hits. I think that's mostly what we're going to see. In the incident report. I think it's just going to mostly be wall hits because uh, we didn't have too many actual crashes. So. Yeah. These guys are racing close though, so even like a wall tap could be dangerous. One's getting impatient with the eight. Think about using that bumper. Does he do it in this corner? Nah, it looks like he got in the wall actually, so. Kind of lost a chance that time around. Just a tiny tap of the wall. Just a tiny tap of the wall, maybe. That was a little bit of a harder hit. Oh my gosh. Wall kind of juts out there, so... That can happen. Where are my tires? I'm curious. 
74, 77. That was pretty good. Didn't really seem to affect things too much. Leader at the time. He gets an old pretty hard there. He actually ended up in second, so I wonder how that happened. But the 19 and the 9. It's just the 9 getting it on entry. He's been hitting the wall a ton this race. It almost looked like he tried to get him there. No rate's going to get in the wall. He's probably trying to leave room on the outside or, you know, try to leave room to the guy on the inside. That's what I mean. I think that's a Rawlings scheme. I'm a baseball fan. 14. Hitting the wall in the middle of the straight. That's a little more difficult to do. Zoil. He's got like a weird sheen on his car. It looks like it's covered in like translucent oil. Kind of creeping me out. Looks like his car would be slippery. Eighteen struggling pretty hard. See the caution? He looks like he really doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> he looks like maybe he has damage and he's having to drive with the damage. I don't know. He's just kind of swerving a lot. That uh, caution's coming up soon. We'll find out what caused it. So we just get some more wall hits. Nineteen moves the nine. Oh, and then that's what it was. So let's see this going in to the corner. So the nineteen's real far back. So the nine gets loose in entry. That's how the nineteen catches him. And the nineteen kind of just forces his way through, but then the nine still doesn't have control of it. And uh, all those wallets caught up to him, I guess, and that's what caused the caution that ends the race. So 9 just had no control of his car at that point. He's bumping into everything, and it's not even a free spot for us because it happened behind us. So, yeah, we came in 10th. Uh, that was the end of the race. 10th of 19. So halfway through the field. I feel like I could have done better if I didn't get... Uh, well, I mean, I just got barely tapped by that guy. I was faster than he was, but we got railroaded at the start, and then nothing you can do once you lose that track position. So, uh, yeah, those street stocks at uh, USA, cleaner than I thought. It's not my favorite kind of racing, but uh, better than Martinsville. Hey, so <laughs> there's that. Um, hope it was uh, entertaining. It wasn't too bad. See ya.